In this video, I am gonna show you how to completely uninstall any program and remove any leftovers in Windows 11 and Windows 10 without any third-party software. The first step is to make sure that the program you want to uninstall is completely closed. In my case I want to uninstall Firefox, so I'm gonna close it normally just like this. Then you have to check the SysTray because some programs even after you close them, they just get minimized to SysTray instead, so we need to close them again manually from the SysTray. Here I don't see Firefox running, so I am good to go, but if the program that you want to uninstall is showing here, all you need to do is right-click it then click either quit, exit, or close. Now, the last place we need to check to make sure our program is completely closed is Task Manager, because some programs have background processes that keep running even if the program is closed. You can open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl Shift Escape, or just open the Start menu and search Task Manager. First, check the Apps section and search for your program, as you can see here Firefox is still running, so all I need to do is right-click it, and then click End Task. Now check the Background Processes section, and if you find any process with the name of the program you want to uninstall, you just have to right-click it, and then click End Task. Now that we are sure that the program is completely closed, we are gonna proceed by uninstalling it normally from Settings. Open the Start menu then click Settings, if you don't find it here, just search for it. Navigate to Apps then Apps and Features. This is a list of all the programs and apps that you have installed on your computer. You can just scroll to find the program that you want to uninstall, or you can search for it in the search box here. When you find it, click the three dots on the right, then click Uninstall, click uninstall again and click yes then proceed with the uninstallation process normally the next step is to delete the leftovers that the program created but didn't remove during the uninstallation process these leftovers are generally just user data that contains settings and preferences related to the program so if you decide to install it again you will get all the settings that you set previously but it also contains junk files and folders that serve no purpose. To remove everything related to the program that we just uninstalled we are gonna do the following. Press the Windows key plus R and type percent sign app data percent sign. Now we are gonna search for any folder with the name of the program which we just uninstalled and delete it, be aware that sometimes you may find a folder with the name of the distributor or the company of the program. In this case, you need to check and see if you have any other programs from this company, distributor, or developer. You can check by opening the folder and see if there are any folders related to any other programs, if yes then you just delete the folder of the program which you just uninstalled, otherwise delete the whole folder. In my case, Mozilla is the company behind Firefox. Inside the Mozilla folder, there is only a Firefox folder and extensions folder which is empty. So I'm good to delete the whole Mozilla folder. After that, go up a folder and go to local low folder. Check and delete the Mozilla folder. Go back and go to local folder and do the same. Now I am gonna do the same thing to the following folders. Press the Windows key plus R and type percent sign, program files percent sign. If you didn't find the folder that you are looking for, just close the window and proceed. Again press the Windows key plus R and type percent sign program files, opening parenthesis x86, closing parenthesis percent sign. For the last time press the Windows key plus R and type C colon backslash, program data backslash. Here I found two folders so I'm gonna delete them both.
The next step is to empty temporary folders. Press the Windows key plus R and type percent sign temp percent sign. Select everything by pressing the Control key plus A, then press Delete on your keyboard. If a window like this appeared, just check do this for all current items and click Continue. If Windows shows an error like this while deleting files, it means that these files might be used by some running software or Windows services. Check do this for all current items and click Skip. Again press the Windows key plus R and type temp. Select everything by pressing the Control key plus A, then delete. Now, we are gonna remove software keys from the Windows registry. This process is a little bit risky as it can damage your system if you don't know what you are doing, if you are not confident, or if you are afraid to mess something up, you can just skip it, but as long as you follow the steps that I am gonna show you, you should be fine. Press the Windows key plus R and type regedit. Click yes. I strongly advise you to make a backup before you make any changes. Go to file then export. Navigate to documents and name your backup file then click save. Now go to local machine then software. Look for a key with the name of your uninstalled software. The same thing that I said when deleting leftovers applies here. You may find a folder with the name of the company, distributor, or developer. But since we are sure now that we don't have any other software from them, we are good to delete the folder. While you are in the same folder go to WOW6432 node and do the same. Go back and check Microsoft windows current version then uninstall and do the same now go to current user software and delete the folder after that check users dot default software The last thing you need to do now is to restart your computer, and the program should be completely removed. Keep in mind that every program is different, and they may use different folders from what I showed you when deleting leftovers to store their files, although this is highly unlikely, but it's possible. They may also have other registry keys, or you may not find software keys in all of the paths I showed you but you still need to check them whenever you uninstall a software. That is all for this video, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below. And if this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe.